this weekend, I want to share with you the story of a great lady, Mary Kay. It has been said that a human's mind is not a container to be filled, but rather a fire to be kindled. Well, I like that. So often we think of our mind being filled with God's ideas, and that happens. But when God touches you, God will kindle and cause a fire of enthusiasm in you that will totally consume the old self and transmute you into a new human being. You will have enthusiasm where before you were lackluster. You'll have a power that before you were mediocre. You'll know without a doubt the power of God working in and through you because your mind will be on fire with enthusiasm. Often we see religious symbols as the flame, the fire, and it is not consuming to destroy, but it is a purification. It is an energy. It is a life that when it happens in you, you'll know. In Colossians 3, verse 23, the Bible states this, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for humans. Well, the year was 1963, and the woman was in her mid-40s. She took all of her life savings and started her own business. She started selling cosmetics. But it wasn't easy like it would be today, if you can call it easy, by advertising it on the internet and selling your wares from your home. No, she had to do it the hard way, harder than I can even imagine. Door to door, can you imagine, in the heat of Dallas, Texas, and she started to sell cosmetics this hard way, one customer at a time. Well, today, her company ranks among the leaders in the cosmetic industry. She was able to achieve that level of success because of her ability to enlist the enthusiastic support of an energetic sales force. She said the real thing that Mary Kay was selling was enthusiasm. Well, Mary Kay Ash, she once observed a mediocre idea that generates enthusiasm will go further than a great idea that inspires no one. I've always liked that. Anything that has the touch of God's enthusiasm on it will succeed, and that includes you. Take that tip from Mary Kay. The next time that opportunity knocks on your door, open it with enthusiasm. Now, let's talk seriously. Most people don't. When opportunity knocks on the door, they leave the chain on the door, and they crack the door just a bit and look through the crack towards the opportunity. And they usually stay on that side of the door out of fear. They don't open the door. They don't seize the opportunity. They don't get excited about it. Well, when you do get excited about it, when you have enthusiasm, it can change your world and those around you because enthusiasm is contagious. If you want to change the world, though, the first person that you have to change is yourself. Let us pray. I pray today that you have enthusiasm, that you have the touch of God upon you, that it fires up and kindles ideas in mind about who you are and about what you can do. In Jesus Christ's name I pray, amen.